Today on Leon Loco, hell, every day on Leon Loco, I get stuck behind idiots going too fucking slow. Ugh. Oh good, you found your little fucking state park where you can go jump the hilly brush or whatever the fuck it is you do and you're fucking, fuck, fuck, what the fucking fuck? It's right there, you dumb bitch. Fucking hell. Ah! Hello, fellow crazies. Leon Loco here. Quite obviously, it's Leon the Ducati Fonagali. Time for another video. Woohoo! <laughs> I had a few questions about it from a viewer, and uh going to get into that uh, in a little bit here, so if you're interested about the Panigale, stay tuned. Also, uh, a little bit surlier than usual, uh, and I hear you saying, yeah, how's that different from any other day? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, anyway, a little bit surly because uh, a couple days ago, uh, two days ago, <coughs> fuck, Two days ago, I got uh, caught in a thunderstorm riding home and just got completely fucking soaked. And I was wearing this gear, and it's almost dry, but still kind of damp in a few areas that you would really rather gear wasn't damp if you catch my drift. So, yeah. Whatever, I'll deal with that. And the uh, heat from the bike should dry out those areas fairly expediently. Um, other stuff, yes, uh, a bunch of uh, really cool things are in the works for the channel, for Leon Loco, for me. Uh, I can't really go into too many details right now, but I am really excited. That's uh, offsetting the surliness of my gear being wet quite nicely, but like I said, I can't get into too many details, but there's some very cool shit happening. Uh, some very cool bikes are going to be coming to the channel uh, for you to take a look at because of reasons. Um, <laughs> again, can't get into too many details uh, as of yet. However, if you stay tuned, uh, I promise you in the next couple of weeks there's some really awesome shit coming. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because you won't want to miss these. Uh, I worked really hard on this stuff. And uh, it's the kind of content you are unlikely to see in many other places, and that's no idle boast. So, other stuff. Thank you. Another example of doing it right. Just let me go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for not being one of them. So yes, uh, we get mail again. This time from a gentleman who, uh, Josh, I believe his name was. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, Josh. Um, if I just got that wrong, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure it was Josh. Uh, asking about, you know, what the Fonagali is uh, like to live with and should you buy one? And I kind of covered that, you know, vaguely in one of my Ducati videos and sort of it's a bit more, uh, specifically in the first Ponagali video I did just after I bought it. But uh, this guy was particularly asking, uh, what can you tell me about the bike now? Because I've, I've owned it for about a year. I put about uh, 4,500 miles on it. Been riding it quite a bit. And uh, is there anything to be aware of? Do you still like it? You know, should I get one? Because the 1199s now, the, the first ones, they're getting fairly affordable. Uh, compared to, you know, your average sport bike. Um, so, should I get one? And, what can I say? It still brings a huge grin to my face every time I ride it. Um, there are a few things that are annoying. Let's take the fairing off to check the oil. That's retarded. I don't know why the fuck Ducati made you do that. But, they did. Um, and there's a couple of little things like that. Uh that are just slightly annoying that didn't have to be annoying. It's like, okay, Ducati, you could have just put, you know, an oil level sensor 
in, in the engine and given me a little display on my dash saying this is how much oil you have. Or you could have done the Triumph thing and put a little dipstick in there. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's got the, the usual sight glass in the side of the engine as pretty much every Ducati Superbike I've ever owned has had. Uh, which is usually not a problem because in most of your bikes you can see them. Uh, or there's, you know, in fairing to bikes, there's a little hole uh, through the fairing where you can check the oil. It's kind of a faff, but you don't have to take anything apart to do it. And uh, one thing about the sight glass, it is very easy to see what condition the oil is in, not just the amount of it. Uh, so if it's like really nasty looking, it's like, all right, let's just change it sooner than the service interval would suggest because oil is cheap and engines are not. Um, so that's probably the biggest annoyance I have on the Ponegali, uh is the sight glass being hidden behind the fairing. Because especially when I first got this bike, uh, when it had hardly any miles, hello, when it had hardly any miles on it, um, it did use a fair bit of oil when it was breaking in. So, it, well, you know, I had to check it every couple of rides and usually add a bit. And you de definitely don't want to run one of these Super Quadro engines even low, much less really low on oil, because it will do bad things to it. So that was a pain in the ass. But uh, once I got a few couple thousand miles on it, that, that stopped. You know, the oil consumption has been minimal to non-existent. So it's less annoying than it was. But, you know, these are small niggles overall. The bike is an amazing thing. Like I say, it still makes me grin every time I get on it. Um, fuck. God fucking damn it. Why is there always some fucker in a fucking minivan going three fucking hour, goddamn, three miles a year in their fucking shitbox? Okay, so. Other little niggles. Uh, I don't like the how the fairings are held on. I mean, it's it's similar to pretty much any other bike. So if you're not used to the older Ducatis, uh, you're not going to really care about this. But it's pretty conventional in that it has you know a shitload of uh, of Allen uh, screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them, that hold the fairing on. And they're really neat as Allen bolts go because. Uh, you know, they're all embossed with Ducati Ponega or Ponegali and then the model number uh, on the head of the screw. So that's all neat. But back in the old day, back in like the 916 through 998 era, uh, they were just uh, Zeus fasteners, little quarter turn fasteners. So you could take the fairing off in like 10 seconds. Whereas these things, you got to get the tools out and, uh, and such. So, but if you've never had an early Ducati, you're probably not going to care about that too much. Other stuff, uh, I hate the stock exhaust. You know, I, I, I you know, initially, it, it still sounds good. Don't get me wrong, but with that cat in there, and it really muffles the engine, and it's definitely sucking up some power. So, definitely spring for the Termies or another similar exhaust. If you're going to buy one of these, do it. Do at least a slip on. Yeah, I pretty much that's the only thing I can only stuff I can think of that pisses me off about the bike. And this is all really inconsequential shit. You know, it's like on the whole, the awesomity of the uh, motorcycle uh, massively outweighs the minor annoyances that I have run into with it. Uh, the power is amazing, the electronics are amazing, the brakes are ridiculous, the suspension is freaking cool. Um, and, you know, most people, well, some people care about this more than anything else, but the looks of this thing are ridiculous. You know, this thing, this bike turns more heads than pretty much anything else that I have and that I've ridden. So, if that's important to you, they do get looks. Me, I care more about how it is to ride. There's just a certain, I don't know what, about Ducatis that really no other manufacturer has. Uh, and you either agree with that and you get that or you just think I'm being silly and I should shut up about how your R1 isn't all that interesting. <laughs> Fine, you know, that is what it is.
But I like it very much, and if you like a distinctive, unique bike that is fast as fuck, um, I can't think of anything I'd rather have if I could only have one sport bike. So, if that answers your question, Josh, uh, yeah, buy one. I mean, if you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. They are really a hell of a thing. Uh, the maintenance is really nothing. I mean, if you've heard horror stories about Ducati maintenance, it really isn't. The modern bikes are easily comparable to... Ah, shit, that's a lot of gravel. Uh, easily comparable to um, any modern Japanese bike. So, really, they're just, they're just all around awesome bikes. So, yeah. If you want one, get one. They are Leon Loco approved. Good God. Took the front up there, got a little shake. <laughs> hey, if you like this video uh, and you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? Uh, that way you won't miss any other videos. And uh, there's also some competitions coming up pretty soon uh, that you can only access as a subscriber or you can, you know, win cool stuff and whatnot. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, uh, there's a like button right down there you can bang on. And uh, if you want to share it, please feel free, you know, via social media, tell your buddies about this particular video.